Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I please encourage you to please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you. I'm having sleepless nights over the gubernatorial election. Oba of Benin cries out. The Oba of Benin, Oba Iware 2 or 11, yesterday warned politicians against setting, setting the state on fire over the forthcoming gubernatorial election. The monarch who gave the warning while speaking during a peace, peace meeting he initiated for critical stakeholders in the gubernatorial contest expressed worry over the spate of violence across the state ahead of the September 19 poll. The warning is especially for the candidates of the All Progressive Congress, the APC, and the People's Democratic Party, the PDP. The monarch said, adding, I have had sleepless nights over this. My mind is burning up over this violence and shootings all over the state. Let the shooting stop. And let there be peace and quiet in the states. Don't kill yourselves over an office. Don't kill yourselves over votes, he said. The meeting which held at the Benin Palace was attended by the governorship candidates of the PDP and APC, Governor Godwin Obaseki and Pastor Osage is a Iyamo, respectively, as well as two former governors of the state, Chief John Odige Oyegun and Comrade Adams Oshomole, among others, describing peace, describing the peace deal as historic and significant to the unity, corporate and peaceful coexistence, as well as the rich traditional institution of Edo people. Oba Eware advised the contenders to note that they had only a do to call their own state and must do everything to protect it from disintegration. His words Edo politics have been in the news for quite some time now for all the wrong reasons. We have we have sleepless nights for quite some times because these are all our people these are people of the same stock from the same body there is nobody who is a stranger to each other I have worried right from the time the conflict started between comrade Adam Sushumale the former governor and the incumbent governor Gordon Obaseki I want you to take your mind back to 2015 before the final elections before the final election results were announced president goodluck jonathan picked up his telephone and called president buhari all the predictions and forecasts by the international community that nigeria will break up were quenched by just by that singular act to the Edo governorship contenders, Oba Ewari recharged, enough is enough. You must surprise everyone. So that when the election comes, it will be peaceful. You are all from the same state and you want Edo state to be a laughing stock? I want peace to reign. The political actors have been to, have been together. Today you are together. Tomorrow you are no longer together. You are confusing everybody, the media and the people. Is it because of the office? He advised the candidates, their leaders and members to embark on issue-based campaigns and not indulge in violence. He further said, 
I didn't expect either side to be castigating each other. Enough is enough. This is not a do or die. I am very, very sad about what has been happening in a do state. I think this is the worst scenario. So, do your best to calm down the temperature. Both of you are arming talks and I worry about what will happen with these weapons after the pool. We are doing our beat internally. Traditional prayers were being offered so that there will be peace during the election. I want to appeal to politicians to control the youth. I want the politicians to assure us that there will be peace. You do not kill yourselves over an office. We are begging you politicians, particularly the two political gladiators. You must all do your bit to calm down the tension in the states. He said, the monarch maintained that the traditional institution remains non-partisan and warned the palace chiefs against making any political statements. In their separate responses, Obraseki and Izayamu gave their assurances to the monarch and promised to ensure that their supporters will conduct themselves peacefully. Oshimole, who also spoke, said as a product of peaceful elections he will not deviate from what will guarantee a peaceful election all right guys what are your thoughts on this particular issue as it were a do state is becoming fire a do state is becoming test a do state is becoming heated all because of just this particular issue what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Well, let's uh, quickly take a few reactions and let's hear what people are saying concerning this particular issue. The way and manner at which uh, a do state election is going, it definitely would affect a lot of things and so many issues. People are being killed. Look at um, both the APC and the PDP side, uh, they are having issues, attempted assassination or accidents involving an accident as it were. All these are negative uh, trends that shouldn't be happening. Well, guys, it is really, really sad and unfortunate that this is happening and uh, nothing has been done. Well, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? Is Oshomole the main reason why the polity is this heated? From the look of things, he can be he can be faulted. He is not free from uh, the reason. He can also be accused. I stand to be corrected. But Oshomole seemed to be the brain behind a heated polity in Edo State from the look of things. Well, it is what it is, guys. We just hope that the Edo State would uh, come back to uh, no peace and be calm anytime soon and very soon. Because from the way and the manner at which things are going, it does not seem or suggest that. Uh, you know, the people of Edo State are enjoying peace at the moment. If it's taken the Oba of Bene to come out to, you know, uh, speak and call both parties together to warn them to actually speak to them, talk to them about peace, then something definitely is wrong. Which should have been the, the politicians should have been the one talking to other people in the state about peace, creating peace, peace in the state. But it seems that the other things are the other way around so you guys you see that something is wrong with the politicians look at the way and manner at which they are fighting themselves they are quarreling they are going about each other they are doing all what they are doing carrying out uh violence in an on registered manner it beats the mind and imagination of people who feel that uh could this election uh, wipe out the whole state or is it a do or die affair well it is what it is guys what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story please kindly drop by the comment section let's know what your thoughts are don't also forget to subscribe to this channel kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories 
Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.